Hey, hey guys. So, I'm just going to do a little vlog in my car before I go in the gym. I want to talk to you guys about um, working out after an augmentation. I've gotten a lot of requests to um, like do actual workouts after a tummy tuck, what I recommend, things like that. So I'm going to do a specific video on that. That is just... Nope. Nope. Anyway, but for now, since this is what I'm going through, I'll just kind of keep on topic of the augmentation. Um, the thing with augmentations is you have to avoid chest specific for a good six months. So when I went back to the gym, I went back to the gym at about two or three weeks. I think it was three weeks is when I went back to the gym and I mostly just focused on cardio. And then I was feeling pretty good so then I just went into legs and I just can kind of, pretty much you can do anything you want with legs. You just can't be doing plyometrics, jumping, things like that. I would, would recommend wearing like two bras probably even. Um, but yeah, you just want to stay away from chest specific workouts. So I can do, like when I do like almost like rows, I feel like that's fine because you're, you're working more of your back muscles. Even though your chest works a little bit, it isn't as specific so it was never a problem. I I can even do overhead presses. I would wait till you're at least like three months. I would wait till two months post off to do upper body. And then even then just be really careful. You don't want to do anything over 10 pounds at first. Just kind of listen to your body, things like that. And then don't do anything chest specific until you're about six months post off. Some rec some surgeons even recommend even longer, so. Um, anyway, so I got my BCAAs that I use as a during workout supplement. It kind of just helps replenish my muscles as I go. It makes me so I don't burn out. So I always have BCAAs when I work out. Always. I get my BCAAs from Warrior Fuel. I will link them in this video in case you are interested. They're just a company that's mostly local here in Utah. but. They're really great, and I seriously, if I don't use if I don't use my BCAs, like I'm so much more sore and drained the next day, and it's harder to get through my workouts, things like that. So that is one thing that I do. I make sure I get a good amount of carbs before big long workouts too, so just by knowing I'm gonna be doing a lot of cardio. So I do like my shake that has plenty of carbs in it, and yeah, that's about it. Let's go work out. Hey guys, so I'll just voice over this section really quick. This is a pre-workout. It's all natural caffeine. It's called the E-Shot. Um, and yeah, so don't mind the difficulty of recording this yourself. But this is just a little workout that I was doing with my upper body. This really doesn't target your chest too much. So I'm about, I mean, I recommend doing this probably about three months post-op though just to be safe. But just keep it light. And then what I like to do is each set, I add a little bit more weight. I don't know the technical term, I don't know, stack, setting, stack weight, setting, I don't know. Just add, I like to add weight each set, and then you can do that either three reps or until you burn out, however you like. Just be careful if you have had an augmentation. Okay, and then whenever I do cardio, I like to spike and lower my heart rate. It's technically sprints, but no matter what exercise you're doing, just do more intense with less intense. All I'm doing here is I'm kicking back my leg, and then I bring it forward, holding my leg in the air to activate my abs, if that makes sense. And then for a post-workout, I like to always do some type of protein. I love the Quest Bars because they're really low in sugars and high in fiber and protein, and they're just amazing. And here's an example of like a post-workout meal. It's a little post workout meal, it's just chicken, lemon herb, things like that. And you just put, if you put a little bit of water in the bottom, it keeps it more moist. And you literally just bake it in the oven for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Super quick, super easy. You can throw in like some vegetables, uh, what else? Sweet potatoes, you know, the good stuff. Good to get protein in after a workout though, so. Hey, hey guys. So, it's about quarter to one and Zumba class gets over at one. 
and I want that room at the gym so <laughs> I'm gonna use this time to just kind of talk to you guys about a new supplement I'm gonna try so I ordered the new well not new but I ordered warrior hers supplement this is part of the warrior fuel line it's mostly it's a company based here in Utah but I will link information about it below if you want to check it out anyway warrior hers this is a pre-workout that I wanted to try and it says it's for extreme fat loss strength energy intense focus increased metabolism yeah it's a pre-workout so yeah like most pre-workouts though it has uh, the carnitine in it so I just want to talk to you guys what's in this why it works and why why it's great why people want to use these type of supplements so let me just tell you here on the back so the energy and fat loss matrix so it has carnitine raspberry ketones caffeine of course and so this is what is going to give you the energy so if you don't know what carnitine is carnitine basically gives you energy in a nutshell um, everyone has carnitine in their body it's it's made up in all of our cells so it's not really something that you need you don't need this we already have this but of course supplements are things that our body already produces but um, we're just supplementing with more of it so yeah the thing that's cool about um, the carnitine is that it actually what it focuses on is it hits those cells and it basically makes it so that it turns your fat into energy to get technical it actually gets into your mito mitochondria it's a long chain fatty acid and it gets in your mitochondria and it makes it so that it uses that as energy and it also helps like get toxins out of the cells as well which is kind of cool so the other thing it has in it is chromax um chromax is basically it's just for energy as well so that's kind of the cool thing about the supplement so i'm going to try it out let you know how it goes how i like it we'll see if we start losing lots of weight because uh y'all know we all need that so i'm <laughs> just kidding um but yeah that's pretty much what i want to talk about in this video um i what did i use i also sometimes if i know i'm going to be getting in some cardio i'll have like a piece of toast or something like that it's just kind of for energy um i also always do bcaa's during my workout as i mentioned earlier in this video um it just really helps with burnouts i burn out quickly if i don't have like my bcaa's and things like that i don't know why but that's just what my body does so anyway, and then I have this little protein bar for after my workout. I don't know if these are all backwards to you guys. It looks backwards to me. But this is called the B Up, or Yup. Yup, that's what it's called. It's Yup bars. Um, mostly I do Quest bars, but my brother-in-law told me I should try the Yup bars. Um, I will tell you, they are, they're not as tasty as the Quest bars at first. They have a very, like protein bar taste to it but then once you get a little bit into it it tastes fine actually so and this one has two grams sugar 20 grams protein 18 grams fiber things like that this is the vanilla peanut butter i'll let you guys know how i like that i don't think i've tried this flavor before but anyway all right i think it's almost one o'clock so i'm gonna go in get my workout done i wish i could record my workouts a little bit better i, I go to the gym by myself and it's kind of hard to record yourself <laughs> without bringing like a tripod or something so which is kind of awkward and i don't even know if it's allowed at the gym just setting up a big old tripod to record yourself work out <laughs> it's totally normal right um anyway okay well i'm gonna go work out and um hopefully i can start actually recording some workouts while at the gym in my next little segment i'll give you guys some tips on beginners at the gym, um, things you can do to kind of ease into um, the machines, learning the machines, not feeling intimidated by the machines, things like that. I want to be able to record footage at the gym though, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I want to address in my next video. Well, that's all. Bye guys. You are too slow.